guys, it is another day. I won't say how many days it's been since I last vlogged, but just know that it's been some days since I last vlogged. Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? Um, today is a Thursday, and it is about 10.31 in the morning. <laughs> don't ask me why I always start late. I just, I'm one of those people where I don't wake up early, really, even though I was up at like, I think, 9 something. And I decided to get up and get my day started. Um, but anyway, not doing a whole lot today. I am going to go to, I placed an order at Ulta. And I also want to go to Sephora for something. And I might... Oh, that was fast. Oh, my Ulta order is ready already. Yay. But, um... Yeah, so we're going to go to Ulta today. We're going to go to Sephora. And I'm debating if I want to go to Whole Foods to get my favorite um, cleansing wipes that I normally use when I wake up in the morning. I take micellar wipes and wipe, clean my face with those. They help with removing dirt and oil. And especially because I'm an oily skin girl, you know, micellar wipes or micellar water is really good for skincare. It's definitely been helping me, even though right now I'm dealing with like some hyperpigmentation spots, still having dish issues, getting my chin to lighten. I really do not know why I have such bad hyperpigmentation around my chin. These are some spots that I'm in the process of getting rid of. I don't know why these popped up on my face. Maybe because I've been kind of eating a little bit bad lately. I'm not going to lie. Usually when I eat bad, my skin tends to break out. But when I eat a little bit healthier... I've been drinking water, so that I know that's not the issue. And I know that chin, um, jawline breakouts are usually hormonal. Hormonal. But, um, yeah. So right now I'm just trying to get dressed. I'm not sure what I want to wear today. It's not too bad outside. It's a little... No, it's not gloomy at all. As you can see, the weather is pretty decent. It's sunny. But... So I'm pretty much, I have on this white tank top that I had bought from Forever 21. I'm not 100% sure if I want to wear this. I'm thinking about wearing it with like these gray leggings. I'm a leggings type of girl. And I was just going to throw on my Gap um, plain gray zip up hoodie. Um, and then I'm pretty much just going to be, since it's a day where I'm going to be running a little bit of errands. I normally, when I do, when I have a day where I'm going to run errands, I normally take my Neverfull. So I've got that all ready to go. Not that there's anything in here I actually need for what I'm going to go out and get, but I usually carry this bag when I am running errands and I'm going to pick up a bunch of stuff. It's also a great way to avoid paying for shopping bags at the grocery store. So that's what we're doing. And also, if you guys check out my recent video, I did a what's in my bag, finally. I've been wanting to do one of those videos forever, so I finally got one uploaded, and it's it's doing pretty well, I have to say, without me promoting it. It's already, like, over 800 views, and it did it all on its own. I don't know. Maybe I just put the right words in the title. I don't know what helped that video, what's helping that video grow, but I'm glad nonetheless so right now, and I just got through, um, you know, working on trying to get some other videos promoted on my channel as well, because I'm, we're definitely trying to grow here. We're trying to, we're on the road to get our first thousand subscribers. So if you guys are watching and if you're new, again, make sure you follow me, not only on YouTube, make sure you also follow me on TikTok and also Instagram, all under the same jazz underscore I know right. So, Yeah. So right now I'm just in a dilemma where I'm trying to figure out what the heck I'm going to throw on for today. I think I'm just going to, I don't know if I want to wear shorts or if I want to wear leggings. I'm kind of hot right now, so that is the debate. Um, and my hair is in its natural state right now. It's not done or anything like that. I need to throw some water on it and maybe some leave-in conditioner and probably just throw it back in a bun. And... Just do my usual, maybe like a little bit of mask, just to spruce up my face a little bit because, you know, not doing anything special, not going to go see anybody special. Um, other than that, I'm just going to, yeah, get ready to go. So I guess I will see you guys in a minute.
what we're looking like my hair is just in its natural curly state i know you guys have, this is pretty much what my hair looks like when it is curly i know crazy right but anyway and i just have on light makeup nothing which you just saw i just did my usual concealer powder i just put a little bit of tint on my lips just to give it some oomph and i'm basically just wearing this gray zip up hoodie with like a um forever 21 tank top and just some white leggings that I think I got from Kohl's but they're Vera Wang leggings and I just have on some um, Forever 21 white slides. These are so comfortable. So comfortable. Anyway. Ooh. I think my battery is going to die before I get a chance to really film. So let me grab another one. Because that's what I do. I always keep at least one spare battery just in case. All right, so I'm gonna head out. And yeah, throw that in my bag. And like I said, I'm carrying my Neverfull today. So yeah, that is the look. But anyway, see you guys in a my journey to leave the house has been placed on hold for a second because our dog, I just discovered, decided to go in the living room this morning when nobody was awake. Love that. So I'm just trying to find some cleaning supplies so I can go clean up his mess. If you have pets, you already know. You already know. Like, where did she keep all the cleaning supplies? Um, and you know what? I could use his little doggy wipes. Why not? Instead of using a towel. No deodorize it and clean up at the same time. Boom. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to go to Target too. But yeah, crazy dog freaking peed in the living room. There's this one spot by this couch that my mother has that for some odd reason... He loves to urinate by. I don't know. We don't know why. Look at this. Look at this madness. I think it's hard to see. But you can kind of see the spot where he peed at. <laughs> Naughty little sucker. Naughty little sucker. Anyway, let me clean this up real quick. I gotta move my sister's car because today is Thursday and it's street sweep day. And ain't nobody trying to get no tickets for parking on the street. Although I don't know why they come so late. It's like retarded, but whatever. I'm moving her car right now. I'm not gonna take her car to go run my errands because I don't know what time she has to go to work. And yeah. Pull her over the grass. And then I'm gonna take my car out. Oh. 
This is why I don't like tandem parking. It's annoying to have to move my move her car, then move my car. I normally just park on the street on these days, but like I said, it's street sweep day. And so ain't nobody trying to get no street sweep tickets. I think them tickets are like 60 to 70 something dollars although I don't know if they've gone up since the last time I got one I, I once got one for by accident because I overslept and didn't wake up in time to move my car but yeah <laughs> so we're just moving my car really quick that way I can put hers back in the driveway be on my way. Good morning. Good morning. The street thing, there's no pass. Huh? The street thing, there's pass in here. They went by already? Oh. Maybe, maybe in 10, 20 minutes. Oh, they always come like late. <laughs> I never know when they come. They come like so randomly and late sometimes. I'm about to leave it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's hilarious. Good to know. What's so crazy about the street sweep on my um in my neighborhood? Like you'll hear it going by, but you never know what street it's on, unless you're like like outside, and you can see where it actually has passed through. But the gardener who comes here like every week and he cuts everybody's lawns just told me that it went by already on one side. And I was like, okay, well, I'm about to leave anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but <sighs> it's hot already. It's hot in this car. Okay. Guys, again, if you get a Sony ZV-1 camera, just know that this camera does not hold a charge that long when vlogging, which is crazy because this is supposed to be a vlogging camera and it's like my battery is almost dead already. And I haven't even been vlogging that long this morning. Like, what gives? <sighs> anyway, um, I would put you up on my car mount, but the mall isn't that far from where I am, and I don't feel like trying to screw you in. So I'll just hold you on the Sony tripod, which is fine. But anyway, um, Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go to Ulta, pick up the order. The only reason I decided to, I did a, I ordered it online to pick up in store because they were offering 10% off if you placed your order online and picked up. And you know, we like saving coins over here. So I did that. I just placed it for like two items that I have been wanting that are that seem to be in stock. And they already let me know that my order is ready. So we're gonna go get that this morning. And then after that, I'm gonna stop by Target because they're right in the same mall. And I just wanna get some laundry sanitizer. I use laundry sanitizer on my clothes. We don't do germs over here. So just so y'all know, that stuff is, I, I mean, it's about the same as any other sanitizer, but it's specifically for your laundry. And they have like Lysol and they have Clorox. I use the Lysol one and it's great. I also, it comes in handy also if you have like a reusable mask, which I know I showed in a previous What's In My Bag video. You know, that's pretty much what I use to clean and sanitize everything. That stuff is amazing. And it smells good, too. So we're going to go pick up more of that. And I don't think there's anything else that I need out of Target. I'm, I'm going to try not to let this be one of those days where I, like, go to Target and start browsing around. Because we know how we girls do. Target has become the new Walmart. We all go in there for, like, one thing and then come out with, like, a gajillion items. And I know I don't need anything else. I just need to get my sanitizer. And that should be it. <laughs> I think. I'm like mentally going through my head on like what's in my bathroom. Trying to figure out what I might need. Toiletry wise. Like I think we're good on toilet tissue. We're good on. I'm good on deodorant. Right now I'm using the Degree Aluminum Free Deodorant. It's alright. I think I want to try the Sol de Janeiro deodorant, which is why I want to go to Sephora. Ooh, should I go to the one in Kohl's? Because I keep forgetting Kohl's has a Sephora now. 
and it's a little closer. Because if I go to the mall, I'm going to be tempted to go walk around in Zara. I'm going to be tempted to go walk around in Forever 21. And I'm trying to avoid doing those things. I'm trying to avoid going any place that's going to make me spend more money. So I think I might just go to the one at Kohl's. Because I know there's nothing else in Kohl's that I want. Just want to stop at that one store. Um, and I think that that's pretty much it. Like I said, I'm not doing a whole, whole lot today. We're just going to like a few stores, go pick up some items. And then after that, I'm just going back home. And I'll probably just be chilling for the rest of the day because I don't need to upload any videos or anything. I already uploaded a video Sunday, which is doing well. Like I said, it, it's the what's in my bag video I just uploaded. So go check that out. It's already over 800 views, which I'm happy about. Should I have gone that way? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely been, it's been dead lately. I'm so sorry. Like... I'm probably, I'm just like any other YouTuber where there's really not a whole lot of content for me to like post about because I don't really do a whole lot. I'm a homebody and I kind of fell off from vlogging for like a minute just because I wasn't sure what I wanted to vlog. I'm trying to get back into it though. It's a little tricky. I have to change this battery when I get out of the car. It's like really about to die. It's already 77 degrees. I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, we are back in the car and it is hot as I don't know what in here. So I just got through going around in Ulta to get a few things. And of course I did what I always do. I knew it was, I knew I was gonna get the browsing around and then start to find other stuff that I was gonna want. But luckily I only picked up two extra items. I originally ordered two items and then I went in the store and picked up two more items. So in total I got four items, which I'll show you guys now. So what I originally went in there, to, what I originally ordered and went to go pick up was Oh, sorry. Y'all, I couldn't find my car when I first got out the store. <laughs> oh, I will put you up here, but it's too hot, and I'm afraid that I'm going to... You guys are going to overheat. But anyway, so yeah, I originally went in there for... I know you guys have probably heard, maybe seen, if you're a frequent shopper of Fenty Beauty products, she just came out with these new um, matchstick correcting skin sticks. So I got one in the shade Peach. If you're like medium, light to medium tan, uh, sh or light to medium shade like I am, I usually use like peach correctors for like um, hyperpigmentation and dark spots. So I decided I wanted to try Fenty's because I do like her products um, a lot. And I don't know, I just wanted, it kind of reminded me of the e.l.f. one that they used to have before they dis e.l.f. In discontinued their correcting um, stick. So we're gonna give this a try and see how I like that. And then I also went in there to originally get um, it's by Good Mo Molecules, the Discoloration Correcting Body Treatment. So this is basically like a treatment for the body, and it's supposed to help with like discoloration, I guess like dark spots, hyperpigmentation and stuff like that, but it's for the body instead of just for your face. I'm currently using a treatment by, I think, Peter Roth for discoloration around my face, which I think has been helping, um... I mean, you can't really see my hyperpigmentation spots right now because I have them covered with concealer. But they have been lightening, which is great. But I wanted, I saw this, I think, on social media somewhere maybe. And it was saying like, yeah, this is good for like the body. So, because I have like dark areas or scars that I'm trying to lighten in other areas of my body too. So I wanted to give this a try and see how that works. And then... Of course, me browsing around, I ended up getting two extra things, but luckily these two extra things didn't cost that much. I basically just got some, um, I don't know how to pronounce the name of this, Kid Kitsch, <laughs> I think it's called, but they're just some croc clips, so those little clamps that you use to hold up your hair. I have one at home, I have no idea what happened to the other two, but I had them in a pack and I don't know what happened to them, so I just, I bought some more. These were like $7 at Ulta, and then of course I've been looking for like a travel um, purse carryable resetting spray to refresh and reset and also that has SPF and Supergoop 
which of course is a very known brand, very popular. Um, they just happen to have the travel size resetting spray refreshing mist with SPF 40. This is so it's tiny and doesn't wouldn't take up a lot of space in my bag. So, and if you've watched my previous what's in my bag video, you know that I carry everything under the kitchen sink in my bag, but everything that's like a daily essential. It's summertime right now. It's hot. I'm in the sun from time to time. I do have sunscreen on my face already. I put I have the um, glow recipe sunscreen on my face that I put on before I left the house. So I'm covered in that area. But like if I was out for a full day, like I was at SeaWorld not too long ago, you know, need something where you can retouch your sunblock throughout the day. And it's also a refreshing mist. So it'll feel good on the skin, but also give you that SPF you need at the same time. So I just bought a travel size of that to keep in my bag. And that's pretty much all I got from Ulta. So now I'm about to head to Target because I need to get more laundry sanitizer for my laundry. And I'm praying that that's the only thing that I go in there to try to get because I know me. I'll get to looking around and stuff and be like, oh, that's cute. Let me grab that. Oh, that's cute. Let me grab that. There was a bed um, thing in there that I wanted last time, but I'm going to be good and not try to get it because I think that thing was like almost 90 bucks. It was super cute, though. Uh, we'll see. I'm just like I said, I'm just going to try to go in there and get what I need to get and then get out and just be done but um yeah target's on the other side of the mall i'm gonna just drive over there because i didn't feel like walking all the way through the mall just to get the target even though that would have been some good cardio for me but yeah so i will see you guys at target target Okay, so clearly I won't be able to vlog too much in here because of copyright issues, so I'll probably just put music over this part, and yeah, here I go browsing. Let me get out of the store. Oh, I got a lemon scent for Breeze. Sushi roll, hotter than wasabi. I race for your love, shake and bake, Ricky Bobby. I'm at the W, but I can't meet you in the lobby. Girl, I gotta watch my bag, cause I'm not just anybody. I see him stand in line, just to get beside her. I let her see the Aston, I let the rest surprise her. That's when we disappear, you need GPS to find her. Oh, that was your girl, I thought I recognized her. Ooh, baby, I be stuck to you like glue. Baby, wanna spend it all on you. Baby, my room is the G-Spike Call me Mr. Flintstone I can make your bed rock 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 Alright, so we are back out of Target I kind of already showed you guys what I got which was basically just a few essentials I just got more of the um Lysol laundry uh, sanitizer. This is the biggest bottle and it was surprisingly the very last bottle on the shelf. So I'm glad I went when I did because I almost missed this. But yeah, got some more of that and this is in the scent Crisp Linen. It smells really good and I love using this on my clothes. Then I also just got some more toothpaste. I used the Colgate um, Optic White. Not that I have stains or anything like that but this is just the toothpaste that I've been using for some years and I, I love it. So we got that. And then I also just ended up picking up a box of these Kind Bars, which I love and I've been obsessed with lately. These are the Dark Chocolate Nuts and Sea Salt. So, so good. And Target actually ended up having a value pack. So this comes with 12, where I think the regular size usually comes with, I think, like 8 or something like that. 10 or 8, eight or 10, something like, maybe a little bit less. But yeah, got the value pack of that. Love these things. They're so, so good. And that's pretty much all I got from Target. And I only spent like less than $40, which is not bad. So I'm doing pretty good, trying not to spend too much. I did gravitate towards a couple of things, both between Ulta and Target, but whatever. I didn't spend a whole, whole, whole lot. So next, last, or should I say last, we're going to go to uh, Sephora because I want to go get the Sol de Janeiro deodorant to try. And I'm glad that I checked. I always check 
to see like what stores have things in stock so I don't end up wasting gas making trips that are unnecessary when they don't have the products. The one that I was going to originally go to is showing that it's out of stock, but the normal location where I go to in Cerritos apparently has it. So I guess we will be making the trip. And that is why I decided to go ahead and put you guys up on my my um, car mount so that I can drive freely. This thing is not charging my battery quick enough, I swear. It. Do not get this, this Apple charger thing to go. Like, it's fine for quick charging don't get me wrong but it takes a while to charge it takes a little bit to charge and it's it just ugh, it's not what I want we're, we're gonna do the old-fashioned plug-in in the car and I can put you up here anyway so we're gonna go to go to Sephora and once again pray that I don't pick up a whole bunch of items I don't need Ooh. It was a little awkward. I was trying to get, I'm trying to get content today. This is one of those days where because I'm out and about that I'm trying to get content. And I was in the store, you know, scanning the items or if you ever shopped at Target, you know that they have a tendency to play very loud music, which kills it for influencers because, or digital, I'm not really an influencer. I don't consider myself an influencer yet because it's not like I'm getting paid for this. I'm just doing it for fun, but they play music so doggone loud. I didn't screw you in enough to hold you steady. Wait, hold on. But yeah, they play music so loud in these stores and it makes it hard to vlog and talk really to you guys because of that. So if you'll notice like when YouTubers are filming in stores like Target or like Sephora and they're not really talking to you or they're playing music over their content, that's more than likely why. Cause we ain't trying to copyright is like a huge issue with like youtube like if they even hear music in the background even in the even at the sometimes at the lowest they can still hear it they'll still copyright you like i've had that happen on quite a few of my videos which is annoying annoying as hell and i'm like well damn i won't get mon i won't be able to get these things monetized hold on I was trying to screw you guys in more but yeah it really really sucks because if I when I get to the point where I'm and that's pretty much what I'm trying to do right now we're on the road to trying to get our first thousand subscribers so that I can monetize my channel and if you are new to YouTube I don't know how long this has been going on but YouTube basically has it where you have to have at least 4,000 hours of watch time along with at least a thousand subscribers to get monetized I'm in the beginning stages of my channel so of course I have a long way to go which is fine it will it will it's allowing me to grow and learn how to do things better and differently but yeah it definitely will not help if like every single video gets copyright strikes because you won't be able to monetize those videos and get paid for them through Google Adsense so a lot of times I either just will avoid putting music that will have that issue. Why does this thing keep falling? I'm gonna end up switching the, okay, so I put this camera mount that I'm using right now in a previous Amazon um, finds or must-haves haul video. Go check that out, it's on my channel, up and running. Um, and I don't know, for some reason this thing is getting on my nerves because it keeps falling. It wasn't doing that when I first started, the very first time I started using it, but now for some reason it's kind of doing it and it's annoying. I might go ahead and either just get the one that Aaliyah was talking about and she said that it works great or I might go with the one that um, Gina Janine has been using which is just like a flat surface topper for your dashboard and it, you can just sit your camera up on it and it doesn't move. So I'm going to look into both of the, the options that they both talked about and see and maybe order one of those and see how they work for me. Because I mean this one is cool, don't get me wrong, it holds it up greatly as you can see you guys are in perfect view but the thing is you have to screw it in every time which is a little tedious but it is what it is but yeah there was something that I wanted to mention and I don't remember what the heck it was why did you have your blinkers on to go left if you weren't going left which way are you going Laura people don't know how to drive in LA I tell you don't know how to drive. 
this one comes speeding up. Okay, and returning. Um. Oh, so. So anyway, aside from all that, I did want to say that there are some things in the works for me, not content creator wise, but actress wise, because I've mentioned in a, in other vlogs that I am an actor or actress. I haven't booked anything major yet. That's pretty much what is um, what I've been working towards since I like got out of school. If you don't know, I went to the New York Film Academy and got my oh I should went this way and got my bachelor's in acting for film. So I have those credits on my resume, but I haven't done anything professionally except background work. And it's been an ongoing battle slash struggle trying to book work in this industry because if you're an, if you're an actor, you know, you know, you know that it's not enough to just have like student projects on your resume. You need like professional work. But then that's where it's like kind of a catch 22 because casting directors want you to have professional credits but it's like if nobody's trying to hire you how do you get those professional credits like riddle me this so my management has been working with me we've been trying to like get new headshots because he's thinking like maybe my expressions aren't conveying the type of characters that they're submitting me for or or also, they know that I don't have any professional credits, so my, manage my manager decided that he wanted to have me do like a 14 minute video, and he's basically planning to put this video up on some something on Amazon Prime, that way that I'll get like the professional credits I need to have casting directors look at me like, oh, she's done like professional work, like, you know, let's look into you know bringing her in for this audition because not that I don't get auditions I do get auditions from time to time right now because it's summer it's slow season so I've really just been chilling for the most part but I, maybe like one or two auditions have come up during the summer but I would say the majority of them come obviously during like pilot season and episodic season which pilot season for those of you who aren't actors it's basically like during the springtime so like January through I would say March April and then episodic season is during the fall season, so like September and onwards. And the difference between the two is episodic season is for shows that have basically already been going, been airing, and they're just looking for like new faces or, you know, talent for new episodes. And then pilot season is when they're, you know, a bunch of um, writers and whatnot are pitching new ideas for new pilots. And so, of course, once again, they're looking for, like, fresh faces faces, or even faces that have, you know, been in the industry for, like, a minute working. So that's just a little background on, like, the acting business. If you're curious about that, I can definitely go into more details about that in another video. Let me know in the comments. But, yeah, so I've been, like I said in a previous vlog, I've been training as an actor or I've been going at, at it since I was, like, 14. So it's been many years on and off that I've been training as an actor. And mostly, like I said, I've done student projects and I've done background work on numerous things, but I haven't, I have yet to book anything professionally. And I think that some of that is more likely due to the fact that I wasn't consistent when I was a child trying to get into the business. Like, yeah, I did my first audition when I was, when I was like a teenager. And it was for like, you know, they were looking for kids for like Disney and Nickelodeon. And so my dad took me and my sisters to this audition and long story short they wanted me but my parents weren't willing to pay for the program so it just became like an on and off thing throughout the years of me auditioning for different things I've auditioned I've auditioned for you know high school musical if you're a Disney fan you know what high school musical is I've auditioned for Teen Wolf I've auditioned for the secret circle I've auditioned for that's just like non-background, non-commercial type stuff, and then it's commercial. I've auditioned for like QuickBooks. I've auditioned for Hawaiian King roles, you know, stuff like that. And oh, sorry, a whiff of pain just came out of nowhere. Um, and then as far as background goes, I've done Straight Outta Compton, which crazy enough, 
you can see me in the film <laughs> in the two scenes that I shot um, I've also done other oops I've also done how to get with, how to get away with murder Grey's Anatomy like I've done all the I've done background on all these different shows and like a few films so quite a bit of my resume just not with what we call speaking parts which is where you'll basically see the actors they have dialogue and that's the point that's the part that my manager and I are trying to get me to because he's basically like yeah you need to be on shows you know we know that you can act like we're trying to get you on shows and they've pitched me for everything under the sun that you can possibly think of but it's like it's tricky trying to get casting directors to take that chance with you and say like we want this actor for this role and not you know just background work or something like that and the crazy thing is as I've been paying attention to the types of things that I've been getting called for or getting submitted for or getting audition or you know yeah getting auditions for I'm lucky that so far I haven't been typecast every single audition that I've ever had has been completely different and mostly lead characters which is great because obviously I don't want to be seen as like the best friend or you know something that's like lower lower level I want to be obviously a leading lady like I am capable of being a leading lady in stuff like I'm a strong enough actor I, I feel for that type of um, work so that is just something that we've been working on and we'll see where this goes I've already submitted the video that he wants to put up on Amazon I don't know when he's gonna do it or how it's gonna go go I just know that there are some people that have invested in the project at least a chunk an ungodly amount of money for what he's told me and I was like okay whatever it takes like we're doing what we got to do to get me booked on something or called in for something major which is crazy like the types of shows that I see myself on as an actor are more like I mean I'm open to most things but I really want to do like supernatural type dramas like supernatural type dramas or oh, why this thing keeps falling I'm just now pulling up to the mall but yeah so I want to do like supernatural type dramas I see myself on those are the type of shows that I watch the most um, I also did my my college thesis off or not off of I did my college thesis with me playing a supernatural character so my character basically had supernatural abilities which was basically like telekinesis and telepathy I love those type of shows I love like sci-fi fantasy fiction type shows should I have gone through no I'm gonna go through Forever 21 um and if not those type of shows I also see myself doing the types of shows that are like with music dancing like Empire or Star if you've watched out of the mall I've gone to Sephora and I also stopped to get a little healthy snack coming out so right now I will show you what I got I'm trying to figure out where to prop you up at because my dashboard is very hot and I know that this battery is gonna overheat again which is how I got cut off the first time like I said the Sony ZV-1 it's a cool vlogging camera but it does tend to overheat very quickly if you choose to get it just a fair warning so I ended up spending some time with the in-store I guess you can call them dermatologists estheticians I don't know what they are but they basically help 
if you've been to Sephora, you've seen them like in the section with all the skincare products. And they usually are there to like answer any questions you have about like skincare and stuff. So I got a couple of samples of a couple of products from the Herbivore um, brand. I think that's what the brand is called to try out. One is like a, I think cleanser. No, not cleanser. She gave me like two samples of two of the products. Um, one is like a serum and then the other is like, I think like a cleanser type of joint. But I'm going to try these out and see how I like them. And then also, I ended up getting the travel size Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Pill Pads. This will be my first time trying these. I know everybody's been raving about these and how good they are. Um, and I know that I, I've been wanting to try, I don't know, I tried different products out just like anybody else. So we're going to give these a shot and see, you know, what these do for my hyperpigmentation. Because really that's what I bought them for, to help with that. Like I don't have fine lines, I don't have wrinkles, I just have... Um, and my texture isn't really uneven like that or bad excuse me and so I don't know this is really just for like hyperpigmentation that I bought these to try so we're gonna give these a, sh a shot and see how I like these and if I like them I'll go ahead and spend the 80 something dollars that they cost to get the regular amount because that crap that line is expensive and then she gave me some samples she gave me some Laneige Laneige sorry Laneige Radiant C cream sample and then she also gave me some hum vitamins for hair these are the hair sweet hair vitamin vitamins with biotin folic acid foci uh, b12 zinc and papa i don't know what that is yeah something new and of course i got what i originally went in there for which was the sol de janeiro um aluminum free rio deo or deo i don't know how you pronounce it deodorant which everybody's been talking about I actually smelled this one I hadn't smelled this one before today this stuff smells so good I'm already obsessed with this brand as I'm wearing one of the um, sprays right now which you guys saw me spray before I left the house so we're gonna give this a try and see how I like that all right the smell is phenomenal I can't argue against it their whole line just every all their products smell like smells so 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 good um, but also, only honestly, the only reason I decided to get like a new deodorant was because I just wanted to try something different. Like I've used, I've gone the aluminum free route, and come to find that while I love the scent, I like Natives deodorants, but I, their deodorants just don't they don't they don't work for me. Like they every single time I've used a Native deodorant, and not to say that this happens to everybody, I don't know if it happens to anybody else. But for me, every time I use them, it takes like one day for me to get a rash under my armpits from using Native. I don't know what it is, but I cannot use Native deodorants. So I just stuck with like aluminum free, which I've gone, I've used Dove, which is okay. I've used Degree, which is what I have on now. It's okay. So I want to try something different. I don't know. Just switch it up. I'm in my trial and error phase what I'm trying to, where I'm trying different things just to see like what works for me and what doesn't, you know? And the same thing goes for hair. Same thing goes for skincare. I didn't buy the skincare products that they were recommending to me because they were all pricey as I don't know what, but I mean, it's Sephora, what do you expect? I just told them when I'm done with the products that I'm using currently, which some of the products I'm using currently are from Sephora, then I'll be back to try, you know, the line that they basically recommended. But for now, I just have like the little samples to test out. And if you don't know, Sephora does give you some samples on some products for you to test out at home. So other than that... Before leaving the mall, of course, I stopped by, I don't know if you guys have this in your mall. It's a company called Green Crush, but they make all these different juices. This is a cucumber lime, and it has lime pieces, in, I mean, cucumber pieces in it. It is so freaking good. So good. And then also from that same company, I decided to get a fruit bowl. So this is just a fruit cup that has, like, watermelon, mango, and cucumbers with lime juice and tahini. This is one of my favorite things to snack on love 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 these things i have not had one for a while so we got that and yeah i'm pretty much done with running my errands i went to ulta i went to sephora and i went to target got everything i needed to get i'm proud of myself for not spending an arm and a leg at each store because i tend to do that <laughs> so now we're gonna go home because i am ready to eat i have not eaten anything all day and it is almost 1 30 in the afternoon and I know that there's a bunch of food at home. My mother decided to cook this morning and I just did not eat anything. I'm not a morning eater, so I usually don't eat until like around noon when most people eat like lunch. 
that's just me so yeah it's pretty much it I'm about to go home and put all these things up and eat and relax and I also need to take a pain pill because I'm starting to have pain right now I don't know why and sanitize these hands oh yeah also keep these in the bag at all times this is also one of those things I don't think I showed this in my what's in my bag video but just so you guys know the wet wipes come in different scents these I got at uh, Albertsons if you have an Albertsons in your area they might carry these these are the ocean breeze scent I love fresh scents so of course I picked these up they smell so good Wait, I'm gonna use one of these right now to clean my hands I always do this like when I leave facilities or like the mall or you know just being out and about I like sanitize my hands with the the wipes after I have my touchland spray as well on me but I just like to keep these also sometimes. I keep them in the car to clean my hands on the go. But anyway, I'm going to drive home. Um, I know I was talking to you guys about like acting stuff before my camera overheated and cut off on me. So, like I said, if you want to know more about that, like if you're interested in acting, I could definitely talk more about it. But I'll do that like in a different video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know. And I will, I'm going to see you guys when I get home. So, yeah. Yep. I can hear it the minute it's home. Said I'll never make it on my own. Oh, you love it. basically just trying to get ingredients to make my cucumbers, sliced cucumbers. I love the snack on sliced cucumbers. I'm mad that they don't have a bigger jar of Kalamata olives.
now we're officially done. I have completely forgot that I needed to stop by Whole Foods to get a few things that only a Whole Foods had that I needed. So basically, I just ended up getting two packs of my favorite micellar water cucumber essence facial wipes that only Whole Foods carries. I got a bottle of lime juice, five cucumbers, a bunch of protein bars, some vegan potato salad from Whole Foods, two cans of artichoke hearts, my favorite strawberry shortcake dessert. If you've been to Whole Foods, you know exactly what dessert I'm talking about. And that's pretty. Everything came up to like almost seven, just under $70. When I really, really shop for like groceries, not that this is really like groceries, groceries, this is really just snacks. I usually end up spending around 60 to 70 bucks. Not a whole, whole lot, not too, too bad, but yeah. So we're gonna head home now, finally, cause I know I need to eat. My pain is finally subsiding a little bit. I took two Tylenols and then some prescribed ibuprofen that my doctor gave me. Uh, okay. They had everything that I was looking for except a bigger jar of olives. I hate that I had to get the smaller ones and at Whole Foods, they're not, those olives are not cheap. They're expensive. They're like over $6 and they were like this big when I wanted them to be this big. I should have just went to, but I would have had to make another trip to another store just to get the ones, the size that I wanted. And I didn't feel like doing that, so I was like, screw it, I'll just get two jars of them here. That way I'll at least have them. Yeah, see, I need to get a new, easier mount. But yeah. So we're gonna go home. I'm gonna unload all this stuff, eat. And honestly, I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the day and do what I normally do, which is watch YouTube videos. Cause that's what today is. I did my errands and now I get to go home and relax for the rest of the day. See you guys when I get home. All right, so we are back home. I've been back home for probably about five minutes. I just got through putting up everything that I've already shown you guys. And just got through washing my hands and now I'm about to eat some food so pretty much what I'm eating is this is everything that's been cooked this morning mind you I didn't cook any of this my mom decided to make all this before she left so I didn't have to do nothing we got some biscuits we got some salmon we got some potatoes and this was supposed to be breakfast this morning with sausage and eggs. And then there's a little bit of green beans in the pot. So yeah, I'm about to make me a plate and eat. Have fun at work. <laughs> now I've been saw this this morning. I just didn't eat anything because I didn't know she cooked. And I was trying to get out of here and go do what I need to do. I'm about to eat now. I'm gonna sit down. But basically, this is basically what I'm eating. So, like I said, we got some green beans. We've got two biscuits, two small biscuits, some salmon, and then some potatoes with uh, bell peppers and onions. Looks like she made with it. So, that is my meal for the day. I only eat once a day. Not by choice, but because literally that's just how my body operates. I don't get hungry that often, so yeah. My hair is like a bit dry now. Still kind of curly from earlier, but yeah. I'm just trying to put away the rest of the food. This is from this morning that I didn't eat. It's just some egg sausage and biscuits. And I can put that away and have that tomorrow. The dog has already eaten for the day. My sister already fed him before she left, so I don't have to deal with that. I can just go clean up this kitchen and go relax. I'm just gonna fit this dog in a bowl. Do none of these, none of these fit? This kind of fits. Oh, perfect. All right. 
That solves one problem. Now I need to figure out what to do with the rest of the green beans and the potatoes that's left over. Um, I need a bowl for this food. That's not the work. What you doing? You want to say hi to the camera? You want to say hi to the camera? Say hi. You're looking at me like, what you eating? How can I get some? You just ate. You just ate. Oh, your other mommy didn't give you a treat, did she? She didn't give you your other treat, did she? You're going to have to do get you a treat. So sorry. She forgot. Or maybe she didn't. I don't know. So yeah, I'm just going to wash these dishes really quick. And then I'm going to eat. I know. It's kind of backwards, right? But that's how I am. I want to just get everything done down here. That way, when I'm done eating, I can just relax because knowing me, I'm going to get itis very badly after I eat, which happens every single time. And I'm not going to want to get up and do nothing. So, like, let me nip this in the bud now. Oh, shoot. Splashing water on me. Nip it in the bud now before I go sit down and get too tired. All right, kitchen is cleaned. I'm just gonna go put this other bowl in the other refrigerator for tomorrow. I'm probably gonna have to reheat my food a little bit just cause it's been sitting out for a minute without me eating it. So, since I usually clean the kitchen before I eat. Like I said, that's just, that's just me. Oh, there's a fly in here. Ah, get out. Wonderful. There's a fly in here. Anyway, I think I will go ahead and end today here because I'm not doing anything else for the rest of the day. Like I said, I'm just gonna go eat. I put away everything. I've already cleaned up the kitchen. Oh, I should check the mail. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just end this here. I don't know what's gonna be the next time I pick up this camera but in case I do anytime soon stay tuned oh we gonna get any mail today that's weird but yeah I will see you guys in the or I'll see you guys next time so I'm about to go relax. Anyhow. See you later.